Welcome to another viewing and reacting video brought by me, the J Dude. And today I'm gonna take a look at Watch Models Top 10 Anime Girls We All Had Crushes On. I know I had crushes on some of these female characters. <laughs> and not just the ones on the tile screen. <laughs> It's a little jumpy. Hey guys, it's Ashley here with Watch Mojo, and these are the top 10 anime girls we all had crushes on. Yeah, Ashley from Watch Mojo usually does like anime countdowns for Watch Mojo. He even does countdowns for pro wrestling as well. Childhood and looking over the lovely ladies who unknowingly turned us into massive weaves and got our hearts throbbing. Hope you're prepared for nostalgia and embarrassing memories. Let us know in those comments if you think we missed a classic anime gal. And as always, you can catch me on Twitter at AshJBo, so go over there, give me a follow, and let me know which anime list you want to see next. Oh, he's the lead anime man, voice girl, that's why. Makes sense. I surrender, Taya. I don't have the cards to win. Uh, giving up just like that? If you like what you're hearing, be sure to check out the full song at the link below. Get to the list already, please! I have a 15 minute limit on this, so... Get to the list. Get on with it. Number 10, Haruko. Fully Cooly. Thank you. Oh my god! She went Al Cabana guy. <laughs> getting a bass guitar to the head isn't exactly the kind of thing you want the girl of your dreams to dish out on your first encounter. <laughs> More like a girl of your nightmares. <laughs> From her first introduction to her exit, this intergalactic officer is the embodiment intergalactic of chaos, officer? getting into all manner of troubles while never failing to show off her more sensual side. <laughs> Oh my God. She's the best kind of playful, and looking back, yeah, she was quite an oddball. Oh. Number nine, Melfina, Outlaw Star. Oh. There isn't I think I have Outlaw Star on DVD. I need to watch that. We were somewhat spoiled for choice here, since the female members of the Outlaw Star crew are premium quality and were likely the reason so many of us watched Toonami in the dead of night. Aisha is mm -hmm. certainly eye candy and a half, but it's Malfina's sweet soul that kept us coming back. Adorable to a T, in spite of the tragedy of her past, she was the perfect foil for Jean, and even makes us swoon to this day. Wait, her That's hair is okay black? Scene? Yeah, that affected us young lads. I thought she was a redhead. Yeah, I really thought she was a redhead. Go figure. Ooh. Number 8, Botan. Yu Yu Hakusho. Botan's my name, the pilot of the River Styx. I take care of people I like kind of heard about this show, but I, I watch clips of it. They also call me the Grim Reaper. Hey, if this Grim. is what the Grim Reaper looks like, then take our souls right now. Not quite your typical Gr she's deity, a Gr she's Botan a Grim Reaper. the dead to the spirit world and looks down good while doing it. I know she's not your typical Grim Reaper, but can you at least have her wear black? Not have much to do or in carry a side to the dark tournament and the series more potent moments, but she was the one to kick things off by hauling Yusuke's punk ass to heaven. I'll try to prevent it from opening. You go and punch his brains out. Number seven, Rukia, Bleach. Oh, they didn't use the English dog. 
Speaking of heaven, this beloved shrimp of a Shinigami has been on everyone's minds since the time she plunged her blade into Ichigo's sternum. Mm. It may have taken a while for her to get her sword back, but she soon proved herself a skilled fighter worthy of her station. There's also the fact that she's just so damn cute. Zana, look at no oh, sure, Soul Society has no shortage of radiant and busty beauties, but there's something about Rukia that still made her yeah. shine. Maybe it was the bunny obsession. Although I am surprised they haven't used a dub for this one. <laughs> Number six, my Yukio Now that I knew she would be in the countdown. I don't have the cards. But I thought she would rank higher on the list, like at least final four. It's a children's card games. The proof's right here. Starting off as a rather deceitful player who wanted to game her way to fortune and fame, Mai grew to become an extended part of the dual crew and a potential future Mrs. Brooklyn for Joey. How? How could I ever Mrs. lose Brooklyn? to such an amateur? Maybe it's the revealing attire, maybe it's the flood of hobby lady she has at her disposal, but Mai is still the only duelist. We want to activate our trap card. Some cards just aren't worth playing, huh, Yugi? <laughs> Thank you. Number five, Nami, One Piece. Really knows how to craft magnificent worlds, but also craft female characters dripping with harrowing backstories, only to be matched by their drop dead gorgeous forms. Even before her time skip, Nami was still the one that in the hearts of pirates everywhere. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Whether as a thief, a broken young woman, or a member of the straw. I, really, I sadly only remember the four kids dub this show, One Piece, so sorry. But we'd say it's kind of worth it. <laughs> oh my god. She gives her the hat. Ryoko, Tenchi Moyo. I have this on DVD. I just need to let out my anger on you right now. Stop. I always thought that female with the headband was kind of cute too. Definitive sexy alien, one who takes all the boxes. Alien? To the point where we still can't believe Tenchi didn't make her his one and only. She's the ultimate bad girl, a space pirate, knows how to kick ass, and yet still finds time to be adorably clingy and a source of comedy. <laughs> She truly was a pioneer ahead of her time, who set the stage for the many intergalactic honeys who followed her. Uh, now, just a minute, you really? Can... She was the first one in anime-wise, at least? Just trust me. Relax. Number three, Asuka and Rei, Neon Genesis Evangelion. I thought it was bad when Shinji was nice, but when an emotionless wind-up doll like you starts being sympathetic, I'm doomed! I am not a doll. Mm -hmm. You are! Asking us to choose between these two was an impossibility. It's the one waifu war that will never end, with each standing- I always thought that purple hair girl was kinda hot too. No, kinda. She is exactly hot. Giant living mecha are ridiculously attracted to young lads. Um, Ray, I- <laughs> sure, back then we may have not fully comprehended such What's things that? as Ray's torturous origins and Asuka's various dramas, but it didn't <laughs> stop us from admiring one's cool demeanor and the other's brazen attitude. That and those. Ex I have this series on DVDs, like individual DVDs. Can I use your lavender? I thought at least a purple hair girl that. Uh, from Neon Genesis will make an account as well, like at least a three way tie. Hey, Cowboys, speak up, Purple Hog Girls. Shoot. 
shoot them before they shoot you. There's only one Valentine that stirs our hearts above all others, and that's the sharp-tongued bounty hunter who causes the Bebop crew no end of headaches. Faye is an exceptionally well-written character. With yeah, I like Faye mainly because I have a purple fish, as you can tell from my pit pitios. I mean, not my my pit pals video a couple of weeks ago. I mean, like scary guys who scream stuff like "Give me back my money" or "You're under arrest." <laughs> also, the fact that she rocked every outfit she wore and had a sass game that could go toe to toe with Spike Spiegel. We miss you, Spike. Spiegel. You took all the money you stole from us, and you lost it gambling in a casino. <laughs> Yeah, I have this series on DVD as well, individual ones. I even have their movie, not that awful live action one. No, not never that. You know what they say, cowboy? Easy come, easy go. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe oh, like, to our channel and one. ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure to go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, Misty Pokemon. Oh, that's a I knew I'd find you here! Missy's kind of a bit of a surprise. I was thinking, like, Moscow from New from Neon Genesis or or somebody else. I, Missy is a legit surprise. No offense, but Missy is a legit surprise to me. True companion of Ash, master of the water Pokemon, and the one who perfected the arts of blocking Brock from getting any female attention. And may I say, you're looking lovely. Hey, save <laughs> it, Romeo. We don't have time for mushy stuff. She was a joy to watch, and her interactions throughout the Indigo League arc were delightful. May, Dawn, Serena, Jesse, Ash's mother, they all have their own qualities, but none could top this mermaid in our minds. Water Pokemon always have the Whoa. <laughs> so, do you agree with our picks? Not really. I was expecting somebody else, like someone... Well, I was expecting somebody else, okay? Well, there you have it. My viewing and reacting to watch models, top 10 anime girls we all had crushes on. If there's anything else you want me to view and react to, please let me know in the comment section below.